Oh, what yeah. a fun! Uh, what, that <laughs> performance was fantastic. Stop wow, it. I have to say because it, it, it was like a different genre. I don't know how he managed to manage it. Really, it's just I don't know if Nigeria will appreciate uh, that kind of talent. But he's well spoken, good looking. Well. Yeah, I agree with the good looking. He's really good looking. Yeah, he has so big arms. What yeah. do you, you agree with the good looking? But the I time I was talking about performance. Say, what what is saying. wrong with you? No, like, but did, didn't you like the song because you were there and all of us we saw what he did? So didn't you like? I was. There, I was I so was dazzled by his looks. I couldn't even listen to what he was doing. Oh wow! Okay. He doesn't look so good looking. And when they're talking, he's like, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so he's looking. Really like, so wow. so I was cool. just looking at him. I like his arms though. He has like really. You can talk about arms. Yeah, I don't know why. Just. Let's talk about his vocal So, arms. Titi, what do you think, though? Because you were the one who was, you know, you Yeah, Titi, what do you think? What do you That's think? why I said the, the genre was very good. And he denied dating our very own Simi Adijimo. Oh, so, what a shame. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. They're a couple? Apparently we heard. So. We well, heard. they pray for each other and they minister to each other. <laughs> he, said that, he said she prays for him. I, uh, she prays for me and I pray for her. You know, we share wondering. issues and they pray. I'm like, they're, 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 they're like besties. They're prayer yeah. partners. That's why I asked, so you minister together. <laughs> and he said, uh, not minister together, but you minister. <laughs> and then don't forget, he said that if you ask Simi, Simi would say he's probably the coolest guy she knows. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So did so, you do a gospel song? This one I was preaching. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't tell from but, the performance. <laughs> no, but you know, just... Uh, it's just so we're just going to do our real piece now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, didn't you, did you or did you not enjoy it? No, it was cool. It was pretty cool. Shout out to you, uh, Nidu, uh, for coming through and everything. Let's go get on with our real peace now. <laughs> <laughs> so seven things Nigerian men find unattractive in Nigerian women. This was posted by Cozy Web Tatafo <laughs> on NigerBook.com. <laughs> now, every girl wants to be able to attract a man, if possible, without even talking to him. I know some men who like this uh, dumb approach. Like, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. I'll be, be looking from the side. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh. However, <laughs> 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 most of them don't understand why they can't. Now, here are a few things that might be turning those men off. Poor hygiene. Mm. Uh -uh. It turns anybody off. Anybody men have this than women do. <laughs> because I was about no, to ask. I no, yeah. I think for men, yes. Maybe because men, you expect them to, there's, there's a measure of, you know, dirtiness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> allowed but to have. women is deep, you know, because we have yeah, a unique, yeah. Mm. So. We're like angels. We're supposed to be perfect. Mm. We are perfect. No, I'm not perfect. Okay, I am so, perfect. Uh, body odor, mouth odor, dirty or stained <laughs> teeth. I mean, there is a, um, what's it called? Scaling and polishing. Please, why is it so <laughs> You uh, keep well, going on <laughs> scaling and polishing. <laughs> the dentist, or they have a dentistry. <laughs> Family dentistry. Oh. Wearing wrinkled or flattering clothing. I'm guilty of wearing wrinkled clothes. And uncleanliness. <laughs> well, wrinkled clothes are not so bad as long as you look tush. <laughs> well, uncleanliness no. in general are not attractive and will keep men completely away from you. Yes, yes. true, very true. true. How the man that is being kept away is clean himself. <laughs> <so. laughs> right? But you say men can be dirty, no? No, no, I mean, no, but that's a turn off. Like, other men, not my own, as the one that is judging me. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, the difference between a guy's body and a woman is that sometimes when a guy is smelling and he leaves the place, 30 minutes later, he's still smelling. <laughs> I don't know. You I haven't testify. met the right I chick. I testify. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm you me. haven't smelled some chick, some chicks. <laughs> oh my! You know, some of them will pass you know, me, and I'm like, how do you carry that weight? Well, how about <laughs> women who actually have stuff oozing? Ah, oh, let me give you an experience. Other, well, other ends of the I was in church one day, and the, the girl beside me stood up. You know all these girls that before you can even say hi, they will stand up and raise their hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the I, I just know. But it was so bad, like pee, con pee. <laughs> and you know, it was what I said, hmm, because when she stood up, everyone actually perceived it. She said, she turned, I was not looking at that. <laughs> no, you didn't judge, did you like <laughs> Did you really look at her? <laughs> I'm so speechless. <laughs> Why were you not lifting up holy hands? I was. You, you were sniffing. <laughs> almost wanted to drive the holy, uh, uh, <laughs> the holy next to <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so number two, the thing that a guy finds unattractive in a woman, no ambition. And thank God we just spoke about no ambition earlier on when it comes to uh, uh, Ron's girls. Men love being around women who have their own life, ambitions, and goals. I hope uh, this is not to beg them for money because, guys, you guys begging for money. <laughs> <laughs> this can take you uh, a long way, but once a conversation gets going and men realize you have some goals, or whatsoever, 
you have goals but no concrete plan to achieve them, they will become instantly turned off. Oh, I even brought up a point like this. You should know how the guy plans on attaining his goals. Yeah. Um, yeah. Guys actually get turned off too. Yeah, very true. Like people actually find ambition very hard. Like I remember when I started my um, catering company, I told my friend, he's like, like he just that that is the absolute hottest thing I've said to him. I'm like, wow. Mm. He said no, that he actually uh, applauds me for you know trying out something new. I'm like, oh, well, I think also because they see the potential that you can also build them up as well. No one yeah. wants a doormat, so at least okay, this woman can support my dream and help me to grow. And that whole feeling of independence, you won't be too because being too dependent on a man yeah. is eternal. Because some men, some men say they don't want to go into relationships because they don't have money to maintain mm. their girlfriends. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Okay, so um, irresponsibility. We don't want to invest their time, or men don't want to invest their time and energy into girls who can't handle their own lives effectively mm. and will more than likely become just another burden for him. Oh, just like Gloria said. The last thing a man mm. wants to deal with is a woman who can't ever seem to keep a job or pay her own bills. <laughs> For real. Wow. I don't blame this. But you know, there are men that actually don't, don't want their women to work. Yeah, yeah, there are men like that. They don't want their women yeah. to work in this part of the world. But well, even those, till now, I'm shocked. It has a good side, though. But men, if you insist that I, I can't work, uh, that's a problem. I can't yeah, but for those me. who want their women to work, and then she's going to work every minute, she's being fired, or she has a problem with all her colleagues. Yeah. None of you know, every, mm. it's never her fault. That's for me. Yeah, of course, I can see a man running away. So mm -hmm. she's just uh, lazy. <laughs> Lack of confidence. Men want their women to lead the way, protect them, and make them feel secure. Putting yourself down, engaging in self-pity, and constantly complaining about your circumstances are guaranteed ways to turn a Nigerian man on and make him stay with you for good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, lack of confidence is okay for you, man. No, I'm sure there's something there. Where did you get it from again? No. Tatafo, when? when uh, Tatafo, you didn't do well. Because I'm actually fulfilling that it's quite correct. <laughs> Wow. But at least you read, is we know you read it before you came. <laughs> I'm sure that was wow. a mistake. Yeah. Would, the lack of confidence will turn them off. Mm. Okay, <laughs> having no sense of humor. Of course, we know that uh, having sense of humor is very good for every relationship. You can't be stiff all the time. Yeah, people I mean, need to laugh. Oh, yeah, men like that. I love, I love you know, a guy that can make me laugh, and I, I love making people laugh. So, like, I like having conversations where they're like... Yeah, girl, oh, yeah, I so said it that your laughter has been taking people's jobs, and it's fine. Let's not bring it up yeah. here. Is it which job? Which job? Professional yeah. ones, girls. Professional job. No, a professional okay. job. I left actually took someone's job. Are we mm. safe on this show? Yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope we are asking. Wow. Can, you, can you stop laughing? But Give Kel has a great sense of humor. Yeah, she does. Mm. Giving too many compliments. <laughs> oh, well, you look so sexy. You look so hot. You're my life. You're my king. You're my heartbeat. Really? Huh? It's annoying. Give it's it the turn off. Giving too many compliments. Yeah. yeah. Because How some men like it, though. Huh? But so many every second you, think, you tell oh, him this, no. you tell him that. That's I, a man's I think it's job. A bit too much. That's what a man is supposed to do. Well, mm. not over. Now starts, overly, it now but, starts yeah. to feel like you're stifling him and you're just no. But even if it's mothering sincere. him, yeah. But you can't be sincere twenty four hours a day. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Save Have some compliments for yourself. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> mm -mm, oh. It's unattractive. Okay, so this uh, this last one is very uh, interesting. Titi, wow, this is a really short piece. Good job. It's short. Okay. <laughs> Being a drunk. Now, nothing is less attractive <clears throat> to a man than a woman who drinks, right? <laughs> Wrong! Yeah, Men I... actually love drunk ladies, and if you can't maintain your alcohol consumption, then you obviously won't be able to use good judgment and avoid misbehaving around other men when they're dating you. So what he's trying to say is that men love girls that are You know, that can have so fun. No. Men love girls. Okay, uh, uh -oh, men uh -oh. like to take advantage of women. women okay. That yeah, that's what okay. I was like, That's only yeah. explanation for that. Yeah. Yeah, men so, love drunk Kel, women. What do you have to say about that? Well, yeah, like Kel. they said, if you can't hold your liquor, <laughs> Back to I can hold my liquor, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to like drink myself away and then any man that comes to me, <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're going to be able to drink, drink, but just, when well, you know you're getting to that point where you're too buzzed, stop and go home. Mm. The people even, some, some people actually drink and then get buzzed later. Like, you don't get buzzed immediately. I, I, what somebody you, I, was gonna I think say, I, just, I just feel like sleeping. Trust me, any man that is trying to take advantage of this thing is that I'll be like a lot of you. But that's what they want. <laughs> that's what they want. Well, yeah, but they just want to be active. They just want you to be there. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Welcome to reality. Okay, but let us know what you think. Okay, I'll take it away. Give them the social media. Mm. Like I don't, like I don't talk enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, hit us up on Twitter. Let us know if you agree with these things or if you have any tips 
as a guy as what you know turns you off our twitter handle is at cool tv the blog we're also on facebook cool tv the blog is the page there and you can send us an email blog at cool tv .co, and use our hashtag which is love, love to, to a blog. blog all right we've come to the end of the show before we do our final words shout outs to nadu for coming through being our special oh, guest former. thank you uh, if you want to know more about him you can hit him up on twitter or instagram uh, his twitter handle is nadu underscore brazil his instagram handle too is nadu underscore brazil yep mm. final words yeah um sorry might seem like a very hard word to say but and this also goes applies to women if you find it very hard to say sorry to someone you've offended uh, for instance your relationship your man you can't say sorry and man you can't say sorry to your woman get it together because it might be too late when you do realize you should have said sorry let pride not take over. Yeah. I think something that um, Nedu said, picking up from what he said in his interview, that him and Simi like to pray together. It's really, really important. You know, you should have praying friends. <laughs> friends that you can pray with. Ayo. Ayo. I just have nothing to say. God bless. Will you be ready? <laughs> I don't know. That's a new song. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, what's the welcome, welcome back? back. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, just know that you need to look out for your number one, which is yourself, but that does not mean that you need to step on other people because you're trying to look out for yourself. Try to be a good person, but also do not forget that nobody can look out for you like you can. Aww. Aww. I know, I do this. Sometimes it just flood into my head and I just myself, I'm like, ah, I'm saying this thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here on Monday, same time, 3 to 4 p.m. This has been the blog on Cool TV. Have a lovely weekend. Be safe. See you on Monday. Bye. Yes. Weekend. I can put it in my. We're out.